Hi, Raw Dog 906 here. I'm um, giving you a long awaited update here. Um, I was thinking about what kind of subject matter to make a video on, and today's day just kind of lent itself to the subject of video. Um, I wanted to always do one about music, and I call it Motivational Music Monday, and just would ask you to. Uh, list some of your songs that you like to listen to for motivation if it's just getting through daily life and uh perhaps it's for helping you exercise or move around a little bit maybe it's something you listen to in your vehicle to calm down uh for me it's mainly when i go and pedal a stationary bike here so um yeah um but i wanted to also call it medical mayhem monday uh, for several reasons. First one I'll get into is just how today went down. Um, anybody that experiences disability and has to rely on the state to help them absorb their bills with Medicaid or even Medicare that comes through the disability. Wow, you can sure get into the rabbit hole. I mean, there's supposed to be a local um, disability I don't know, organization perhaps. I don't want to name them here on YouTube. Um, I haven't you know, informed them that I would go public with anything. Uh, but they're possibly seeing if they might help me with some of my um, needs. I'm trying to find some kind of better rest area for this. Um, whoops, don't make me look like the big old blob here. Uh, nice shirt here. Um, F U and then uh, the ribbon goes for a C and a K to rheumatoid arthritis and I don't think I could emphasize that enough. Um, yeah, I wish I had a higher tripod or I guess I'd need something professional like Daniel. Daniel got not Danielle. Dan, you know my man, the main man who's really uh bring into the face of television and youtube what um life's like with rheumatoid arthritis and so there's a sweet woman out on the west coast named elaine um one day i might hope to be somewhat as professional as you guys and be able to do some uh editing in that so i apologize if uh any of the video quality sucks and mostly these are live and uncensored unedited once in a blue moon if i feel i'm stammering or chasing around words i might hit the pause and then come back seeming seamlessly to try to do it uh, i gotta learn about editing anyway you can pm me and uh give me some pointers on how to make more professional videos i actually typically prefer to do via, uh, videos in my vehicles um soon will probably come the golf cart era yeah that's kind of just a pain in the ass to hold that way so i don't like how this makes me look like I'm about 750 pounds, but um, you're going to get what you're going to get for my comfort level. Anyhow, um, yeah, this whole Medicare thing, it's ridiculous. I mean, when I first moved, I thought the hardest thing was going to be is uh, changing. I, I moved from Wisconsin to Michigan, and one of the dreaded things for me was just get my regular driver's license. You know, I had to go prove residency and you know you gotta have bills coming to your home or some kind of whatever it was just a bunch of shit and uh i wound up you know contacting landlord and making sure the lease was changed um stuff like that but anyhow um then of course you know i thought social security and a few other things you know that you had to deal with but uh i forgot about the god almighty medicare and uh I applied for Michigan State Aid. I mean, I'm on a very limited monthly income being disabled. So, you know, they now have set me up with food. And, uh, yeah, oh, yeah. And I'm going to disclose this because there's no shame in the game, as they say. Uh, I get $20 a month. It's fucking pathetic. I mean, a gallon of milk, a dozen eggs, a loaf of bread. Um, we're probably three quarters away there. It's fucking ridiculous. But whatever. What I was after is the health care, because that's fucking ridiculous. The amount of money they bend you over and soak you just for a simple doctor's visit is outlandish. So anyhow, um, should be getting the Medicaid, but, you know, first first primary care you, you give is your uh, Medicare insurance. Well, 
course, then I had to, you know, inform Wisconsin that, hey, I'm in Michigan now, and, you know, yeah, adios. And I'll name names. I mean, I doubt I'll get a lawsuit thrown at me. You could try, I mean, 50 Cent Club here or whatever. I don't know what you want. But anyhow, um, it's United Healthcare. And as soon as I told them I moved into Michigan, they're like, oh, you're out of our network. Well, that's fucking nice. You know, what do I do? So through our local DHHS, I, you know, applied for Medicaid and that. Well, is that problem solved? No, not quite. Because you still need some kind of Medicare and stuff like that. And Medicaid's fussy. So I had about a two-hour talk with a woman today. And I says, look, I don't want to be left in any cracks or loopholes. I, I, I need this filled in. I, what I had in Wisconsin, took care of um, prescriptions. I finally got that taken care of. You know, I, I think I've been through Aetna and Cigna. I mean, you all know these brands out there. And you got a suggestion for Michigan, let me know. I don't know if I got any fans out there uh, in Michigan. By the way, speaking of fans, please like and subscribe and tell your friends about this channel. Got any autoimmune condition, especially rheumatoid arthritis, tell them to tune in. I'm hoping to spice this back up, um, like I said, about getting on with the bus uh it's the end of march friday will be april 1st which i think i might have said at the opening here is a doctor's appointment for me no joke i like to think it's a joke but you know i gotta get something done with my health just a you know annual physical and get some med updates and stuff like that anyhow um yeah i'm hoping to come with a lot better content of uh you know the golf cart and stuff like that but man still like winter outside we're, we're getting sub-zero fucking wind chills at the end of march here is it uncommon in the up not quite but the last few years have had us fooled i, I think last year we were seeing some ground already uh and our snow was significantly less than what we have now so long story short this is not quite normal um possible snowstorm coming up in the next couple of days and now we get the joy of ice and freezing rain and stuff like that but um i just wanted to let you know if you ever find yourself in a situation overwhelmed um there's supposed to be advocate um case workers you know a few different people out there i'm gonna take a fresh swing at it tomorrow with the medicare approach because i gotta find something that makes sure that i'm doubly padded and uh those of you out there working yet, God bless you, and uh, hopefully you get something through your insurance, or if you're self-employed, I hope you can afford it on your own. Um, but those of us, what I want to call the bottom of the barrels, the truly disabled and less fortunate, and you know, paying for multiple things out of our pockets, uh, let me know if you know of any hacks to find anything. I thought I was covered pretty well in Wisconsin. Um, like I said, I had it to a point where I could simply walk in, pick up prescriptions at the local Walgreens and call it a day and, uh, you know, sign in on a doctor's sheet, never have to pay anything. But I've run into loopholes too with, uh, sleep apnea supplies where they didn't want to accept my, um, Medicare coverage at the time. You know, this whole out of network thing. It's a fucking nightmare. So that's what I came to make the video on and... After a while, you know, I just want to say that I take my little daily ride, take Ms. Mazzy Star and her brother out for daily exercise and stuff like that. And that's normally when I put on the tunes. So I like to always say music Mondays. Send me the best of what you got. You might be surprised. I mean, this, this hairdo and the scruffy beard and all that might make you think I'm redneck country or maybe some southern rock of Leonard Skinner and I don't care for the country at all. I'm, I'm pretty brutally open. One thing I found out is that um, in my genetic code, father, son, and my son, we fucking hate country. There, <laughs> I'm going to say it. So uh, rock and roll, alternative, Nirvana, um, 90s classic, hip-hop, rap, R&B. Oh, yeah, I hate country, but I'll fucking listen to bluegrass all day. Well, not quite all day, but I'll listen to it. Um, but yeah, country, the fucking, ah, I, I want to get political or social, uh, socially stung here on YouTube or anything, but it's just definitely not my bag. 
And it just, just the fucking sound makes my stomach curl, my balls shrink. So that's about what happens. But anyhow, um, those are my rants and raves. And I, I would hope that you can relate. Like I said, you got any pointers? Um, most of you are my friends on Facebook, you know. Shoot me private messages as to what I can do. I do have some friends. I definitely say some shout outs to a couple good people in Canada. Um, love y'all. And um, I want y'all to keep fighting the good fight. And uh, love, peace, if I can do it the right way. And uh, have yourself a good time until the next time we chat.